Welcome to the beautiful vineyard of Bella Terra. Absolutely gorgeous here, joined by Marcel. Marcel, what a great spot. Thanks for having us. Welcome. Uh, great to meet you and show you around of uh, what's almost been here for half a century now wow. next year, growing grapes on this spot in Niagara. That's incredible. And I, you've given me a sword. Yeah, and, and a bottle. <laughs> We're so going to celebrate my first time here. Our uh, new medal winner, uh, 2017 Blanc de Blanc from our oldest block of Chardonnay um, here at, at Bella Terra Vineyards, planted in 1988. Mm -hmm. And it just won a silver medal in uh, London, UK. Not London, Ontario. London, right. UK. Right. Uh, Bougier. <laughs> Congratulations. For, uh, for best sparkling wine. So, okay. Please. Here goes nothing. We start our tour with, uh, with the bubbles. So I find the seam. I give it three taps, right? Yeah. Up here? Yeah. And oh, I'm nervous. nice and solid. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Pro. Uh, you think I've done that before? You, I think you have. Maybe once. So oh. we have a beautiful vineyard tour that we're just Cheers, launching actually this week. Okay. Um, and what does that incorporate? And it incorporates a, a walk through our vineyards, showcasing the soils, uh, that we, uh, you know, that we celebrate here every day. Um, this is Fossils? not, you know, growing grapes and, and making wine in Niagara is not that new anymore. This no. is fossil. So That's we so cool. start our tour in the vineyard uh, actually 450 million years ago. Wow. Um, when 450 this, million years ago? When, when <laughs> a most important part of growing grapes and farming was actually created here. So. North America oh. used to be in a subtropical climate and lots of crazy creatures underwater here because all of this used to be a subtropical uh, ocean. And uh, we have, and, and that really created the soils that we have here today. That combined with the ice ages. So we created this walking tour. You start with some sparkling wine. It's delicious, by the A little bit of wine of way. tasting and you really learn about the farming history of, of Niagara. Uh, the grape growing, the climate, and of course about the Bella Terra story. So, I love that. We, we really want to go beyond this is how you make wine and really explain to people, not just us, but the re mm -hmm. region overall, why we can make world-class wines. Well, yeah, it goes into detail about the ridge and how it's known today as the Niagara Escarpment. Exactly. So people are going to learn a little bit of history. Of course, you can scan with your phone to learn more, which I love. All right, coming up, we are going to continue the tour. We're going to head back towards the vineyards. So make sure you stay with us because there is a lot more coming up on Morning Life. And we're talking about the different types of wine that the Niagara region comes up with. But you have a specialty here. Yeah, so I mean, as you can see, we, we have everything from Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, the, the, the reds. Um, that's what makes Niagara so interesting. But mm -hmm. for us here, we're in the Four Mile Creek sub-appellation. And if you like big reds, this is the appellation you really want to look for. I do. For. I am a big red fan. So we, we have as a, one of our main varieties, or the main varieties for red wines, is Cabernet Franc, which does extremely well in, in the terroir here that, that we have. And we use it for more than just reds. We start with rosé, mm -hmm. dry rosé, very fruit forward. Mm -hmm. um, we go into more like medium bodied uh, Cabernet Franc. We yep. do Cabernet Merlot blends with it. And we do the really big reserve oh, stuff. Oh, yes. So, little mm -hmm. unique name. I love it. And this was developed when? Uh, we started in 2020 and for good reason. When the world shut down? We couldn't do, uh, put what the, right? on the, <laughs> so. Of course. Soften it a little bit it and it's, it's a very popular wine for us now to calm the franc down. <laughs> Uh, I love the aprons too. <laughs> started with our wine club. Uh, it was a wine club only wine. Yeah, and, then and it was so popular. It was very popular. Everyone loved it. Uh, the first 300 cases sold out in a month and a half. And wow. then we decided. Was that also in 2020? <laughs> uh, that that might have been in 2021. <laughs> yeah. It's lockdown still happening. Everybody's ordering it by the case. So the wine is not locked up. We're not locked up. Yeah. Uh, cheers. So cheers. Uh, so as you can see, like this is, is round, it's juicy. Oh, it's gorgeous. A uh, little backbone of the barrel aging. Cabs right behind us here. Uh, some of the newer plantings, but we have the old stuff. Uh, 
that is now over 30, some of them 35 year old uh, vines. Mm -hmm. um, and for this wine, we hand harvest everything. Wow. Uh, Pre-select and 2020, this is the 2020 vintage. Absolutely stunning. I, yeah, it's I've been around wine. Niagara wine since, uh, uh, since the early 2000s and tasted old vintages. The 2020 vintage is like the vintage of the century so far. Interesting. Uh, it was hot. Uh, very, um, uh, very balanced, and uh, look at the color of oh, this wine. Oh wow, it's gorgeous! So we have the the wine in French oak barrels for for two years. Uh, the top barrels get mm. selected for this limited edition, and we bottle the wine unfiltered. So it's approachable uh, right oh. away, but it will last. Some of the stuff that we have from from the early years of, of Bella Terra vineyards, going back to 2010. Mm. They still drink great. So these are wines that are rich and they will last if you collect wines. This is something that I would love to have in my wine collection. It will just sit on the shelf and collect dust. I won't let anyone drink it but myself. Well, we have but 750 milliliter beautiful. bottles and we have, we have three liter bottles. So just oh, depending okay. <laughs> on, on, on what the purpose is, there's a bottle for- Are you saying size. I would take the 300? <laughs> <laughs> that one you put away, this one you can open every day. Mm. Uh, so very, uh, uh, very much a Cabernet Franc house. That's gorgeous. Well, coming up, don't go anywhere because we're actually going to go inside the wine store and we're going to be trying some of the beautiful food that they have here at Bella Terra. So don't go anywhere. Now made it into the beautiful wine store here at Bella Terra. And Marcel, you're going to treat me to some snacks. Yeah, you know, after here. a nice tour out in the vineyard, uh, we invite people to come in, relax, and try more wines. So we have here uh, one of the, the beauties, uh, our Fumé Blanc, which mm -hmm. is a wild ferment Sauvignon Blanc in uh, French oak barrel. So add some nice complexity to it, and it's just a really great uh, food wine. And this is the way you're going to uh, transition me into loving white wine, correct? Uh, that's the idea. So, you know, <laughs> it has some of that barrel aging, but not overpowering. Lots of nice acidity. And uh, we've put together a little bit of a, of a menu for you mm. here from our uh, tapas. Cheers. Cheers. Um, we have uh, some in-house made uh, Lebanese style uh, cheese balls with some lemon some warm uh, olives, so you know, real Mediterranean tapas. We have a um, prosciutto, bruschetta. Uh, that with looks some gorgeous. some pesto and, and uh, nice uh, balsamic drizzle. And really neat, a really simple but super delicious uh, Spanish uh, octopus um, that, that you can have with some crackers. And that really goes well with this uh, Bella Terra Fumé Blanc. These are the cutest things I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm not joking. What a great little idea. What do you call these? It's not a charcuterie, it's a jar charcuterie. That's right. I so, love individual, that. Um, we just find that uh, tasting wines uh, yeah. is always uh, easier when you have a little bit of food. You don't have to have a full meal. We have great restaurants here in Niagara mm -hmm. on the Lake to explore. Uh, but if you need a little bit of a bite, um, for you know the the meatier stuff on here that has a little bit more salt, um, I'll uh, grab you a glass here of okay. our um, members red. So we have a um, large wine club, and for them we actually we make a uh, red wine that is for available to members only. How and, do you join the wine club? Uh, you can easily sign up online, or okay. when you really want to check it out first, you come here, visit us, and. Uh, one of our staff members can tell you all the three options that we have as, as wine club. And it's exclusive. This is the exclusive for wine and club. And this is the exclusive. Mm. So it has some of our Cabernet Franc that mm. we explored outside. Uh, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and very unique. We grow a little bit of Malbec in our vineyard as well. Mm. So that's part of this, this blend Oh, as that's well. a beautiful blend. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that one, very limited, only available to See? our wine club members. Got to get into the wine club to get it. So you come here, you can have a tour of the winery, you come inside to the beautiful store, come in, you have your snacks, you drink a little bit more wine, and then you head out again. We're going to be doing just that. Lots more coming up on Morning Live from Bella Terra. And we've come to the final spot of the tour, and this is where we're learning about kind of the history of Bellaterra, learning about the name, uh, the actual label. 
What's going on with that, Marcel? That looks very familiar to me. Yeah, so uh, the Puglisi family, who owns Bellaterra Vineyards, originally from the south of Sicily, and uh, you know now five generations of, of grape growing, um, two of them here in, in Niagara, and half a century on this vineyard uh, next year. Wow. Um, so we wanted to showcase some of that, that heritage in, in a very classy way. Uh, if you've been to Sicily uh, and or the Mediterranean, lots mm -hmm. of great tiles, uh, tile work. And we, we asked uh, our designer to kind of stylize that. And oh. the recurring thing is always the sun. So we have the sun in, yes. the, in the middle of the, oh, of yes, the label. Of uh, we have a little bit of a compass happening uh, yep. around it and, and really just reminiscent of those Mediterranean uh, tiles. So it's beautiful. when you come here, there is that connection to the old world, but we are all about what's possible in the new world. I think that's so important when you are treating someone to a vineyard experience is to actually take a few moments to learn about the history, to learn about the family and that started the vineyard, to yes. learn about the grapes that are grown specifically. I think that's really important and I love that's what you do here and you find that important as well. Yeah, so it's, it's not just about, you know, processing the grapes for us, it, it starts way earlier and it's, mm -hmm. we want to bring people out into the vineyard. We don't get that opportunity too often. Uh, we've actually created this this area here where we are for, for our members, mm. for our wine club members. It's beautiful. Uh, they'll be able to, to get a, a little uh, picnic basket with, with oh. our charcuterie, uh, some some of the wine to, to relax here. Um, and these and, are weddings and lots of events too. Yeah, so here, we have a you? great partnership with uh, vintage hotels, you know, Prince beautiful. of Wales and yep. Queen's Landing, Pillar yep. and Post. And uh, that's another way you can enjoy the vineyards if, if you get married here, or you don't have to get married. You can have another function here uh, as well, or come on the tours, or, yeah. exactly. So yeah. I'm gonna pour you a little bit uh, super seller for us, of course, the Pinot Grigio. Mm. Uh, with that Italian heritage, Pinot Grigio comes along with it. Of course. And I'm hoping this is the white wine that's going to convince you. That's going to change me? Uh, it's going to convert me from my deep body reds to my whites? Very expressive. Uh, not your typical, just linear Pinot Grigio. Lots of fruit on the, on the nose and on the palate. And with one of our charcuterie boards, it's, it's just a great, great starter to a awesome sunny afternoon all right so. cheers well thank you so much for having us we've had thank a you. beautiful time here it's such a beautiful piece of property i expect you to have a very busy summer we already are and i think it will be crazy <laughs> there yes. you go cheers cheers thank you